What's going on guys? Rob at 3 Strong here. I'm in front of the whiteboard because I want to give you a visual of recovery. And the reason why I want to talk about recovery is because when we have training, recovery is what helps us see gains. And that recovery is therefore going to lead us to progress. But what you can do is give yourself too much recovery. And I like to use the analogy of digging a ditch to explain this to my clients. And when we understand training and recovery, we know how many days a week to train, how much rest to give ourselves um, in between. And this is one of those things that isn't going to be set. It's not going to be for the whole year, for the rest of my life, I need to train this many days a week with this many days of recovery. It really depends on the training. You know, how hard you push yourself is going to dictate how much you need to recover and then when you need to get back into the gym. All right, so let me give you a visual here since I have this dry erase marker. So if we have our little baseline here, this is our baseline level of performance. This is where we are at right now. If, I would, if, if we were to, uh, let's say, if I was to stop training, my baseline level would start to go downhill because I'm doing nothing to maintain my body, so therefore, it's going, to, it's going to lose some function, it's going to lose strength, cardiovascular fitness, muscle mass, all that stuff, it's going to deteriorate. But if I implement some training, this is what happens. The, the acute effect of training is essentially fatigue. That when we train our bodies, you leave the gym or you leave your workout in a more fatigued state. So essentially what we've done is we've decreased performance. And that is like digging this ditch. You just dug yourself a hole, right? But if we allow rest, what happens is now we get ourselves out of that hole. And we not only get ourselves out of that hole, but we get ourselves a little bit above where we were. Our bodies are incredibly adaptive and it will adapt to whatever we make it do. So if we make it do, say, back squats, our bodies are going to go, well, we need to be prepared for that the next time. Okay, well, well, I mean, you just did it once. You did a one squat workout. How much change do I really need to make? Okay, you do a couple of squat workouts. You do three, four, five, six, and you consistently squat guess what, your body, you are essentially like shaking your body going, you will get better at squats, and it'll go, okay, fine, I'm gonna have to make some changes, and therefore the next time, you are going to be better. And if we do another one, it's gonna be a little bit better. And now what we've done is over the course of these workouts, so these valleys are the workouts, um, this period of time where you're going back up is the recovery phase and this is where you were before and then you train again and then you keep on seeing this little cycle that over the course of time our performance should be on the upslope and that is a good thing but what happens when we train a little bit too hard too soon this is my baseline. If I train, oh, I get another workout. I get another workout. I get another workout. I get another workout. There's this point where our body, we don't really give it enough time to heal, but one of the things that we could do is give it a little bit of rest, let it recover, and there's this thing that's called supercompensation. And this is where training cycles come into play, that you can push yourself hard. So say you're getting ready for vacation and you know, okay, I'm really not going to have the opportunity to train much in a week. What you would do is not stick with your current schedule because your current schedule doesn't factor in that you take off a week every month or whatever. You push yourself hard. So you get into this kind of um, overtraining state you push yourself and then you back off and you give yourself that rest and then guess what? You see this overcompensation effect and now you're even better than where you were. That is the back and forth 
Next time, I want to go over um, the peaks and valleys a little bit more to kind of figure out when you should have your rest and how often that should be. Okay? See you next time.